2023 is set to be a year of action for St. Lucia to fully repair its tourism industry, hard hit by the pandemic. Minister for Tourism Dr. Ernest Hiller, in his holiday address to the nation, cited a lack of air travel capacity in the Caribbean as an issue the government is committed to addressing. State over arrivals in October was almost 290,000, which is a mere 60,000 less than our record of 2019. This shortfall is due to the lack of air travel capacity in the region since Liat has not recovered from the effects of the pandemic. Going into the new year, we are committed to rebuilding and growing regional air travel and working alongside any efforts to achieve this goal. The tourism minister described regional visitor arrivals as a critical segment of St. Lucia's tourism market. He says the government will move with haste to tackle the shortfall in the new year. Outside of this, the demand for St. Lucia is on the rise across the world and we will continue to build on this by increasing our efforts in those markets that have been our greatest contributors and breaking into those that are not usually a great contributor. With the growing demand for our fair Helen and stayover arrivals on the rebound, it is critical that St. Lucians benefit more from the tourist dollar. Despite the slow return of regional airlift, the tourism minister remains buoyed by the exceptional international capacity with the return of a number of air carriers in 2022. We saw the return of several airlines to our airports, including the return of Sunwing from Canada and Virgin Atlantic and TUI from the United Kingdom. This truly helped bolster our airlift capacity in what has been a profound rebound year after the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hilaire says the tourism ministry will continue to develop the prized industry to ensure the benefits redound to all players in the economic mainstay. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.